I think Genesis would be a lot of fun too. Hand warmers. Hex Moolah, Blue Fox, S1. I don't know what the S1 tag is. I don't know. This is a new thing. I couldn't tell you. Red Fox Master Race. If you're not playing Red Fox, what are you doing? Nah, it, dude, Green Fox. Christmas colors, my friend. Green Fox Spread is like, the that's the old school Fox. Like, you're an old school player if you play Green Fox. That's just how it is. Red is like the new school. Blue is like, I think I'm cool. Um, blue, no, blue but is, the, I think blue Fox is definitely the new school, man. After hacks? Hacks like define new school Fox. Um, you're not wrong. Yeah. So, one thing that I want to kind of see from these guys, I, I know that Hacks loves the ledge. Because, um, spoilers, it's broken. It's it really, really so good. good. And if you have perfect ledge dashes, it's really, really broken because you almost regain center stage for free. Um, but it puts you at a really great risk because if you fuck it up, you die. Um, and that's one thing that really excites me about Hacks as a player is that, like, when he gets better and better, we're going to see more consistent ledge dashes from him. And like they're already pretty consistent. We're watching, yeah, we're watching twenty, watching twenty XX like come into place. We're seeing the look at that. You see how crispy that Fox? was, dude. I'm telling you, and that's invincible. You can get like invincible nares out there. This is the updated box, though, right? Updated as in quote nerfed box. I don't know what exactly is nerfed about the box right okay, now. Okay, so one thing Educate I th me, one thing I remember him changing was. He changed the way the wave dash works so that he can no longer get a perfect wave dash and instead made it so he can get like three different wa wave dash lands. So one, so that he could do like, you know, a short one, a middle one, and then like a long one. But the longest one was probably like to like point nine, like six, five or something. Okay. And then the shortest one being like point one twenty five or something. I okay. don't know. And then somewhere in the middle for the other one. So that was one thing. So he no longer has perfect, like, ledge dashes, like, pure 1.0 ledge dashes. Um, where is oh, Russ? He needs to update. Can yeah. you update our commentary, please? Can you update the commentary domains? Yes. Yep. Space Ghost and my Twitter is Space Ghost SSPM. I'm Syrup and Syrup on the side. Yeah. All right, they're getting into it. Oh, I'm so excited. This is so hype. The. The. All right. Oh, man. Ooh. Inte totally intentional. Fox misses the short hop, ends up doing a full hop up air. Ooh, nice shine. Hax has, like, some of the scariest back airs in melee. Like, he squeezes in these bears that you don't think are going to work, but he just makes them work, man. And he, he edge guards with back air super, super well. It's one of the best edge guarding tools in Smash, I would say. Oh, definitely. Ooh, just runs in with a nair. That laser, though? Dude, just misses the back air. Laser. Yikes. <laughs> what's going on with these Hex is, uh, I'm not sure what he's I, trying to do. Maybe he's try finally trying to learn to laser. I was going to say, is he trying to like pivot laser? Maybe. I don't know. Three stocks piece. Oh, I love those short hop up airs. Yeah. Uh, let's see what Hacks can get here. Just an up air. Oh, missed the ledge dash. Unfortunate. How many missed ledge dashes are we going to see this set? Take a drink every time you see a missed ledge All right, dash. I'm calling seven total. I was going to say six. And there was already two. So. And we're a minute in. <laughs> yeah. But that's what like Fox did was art. You really you push yourself as a player. You, you push yourself you so get much. Into a, you get into a momentum kind of thing. Oh, back nice air. back air. Oh, that was, sick. that was beautiful. Sox was like a little too far. Tried to side B and get hit by the fire. One of the things I really admire about Hux's game is oh. how consistent of a ledge guarder he is. Dash attack shine. That's so good. That was perfect. It's so good. That was all perfect. When you can't get there with any rhythm, you just dash attack shine. Works every, well, almost every time. Oh, man. <laughs> all right. Circus music and There he goes. Unfortunate. I don't know why he would do like a down air input, though. I thought he was going to drop down shine. Good SDI. Oh, sick down tilt. Damn. That was like choose your own adventure in. book right there after that. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's, okay three. that's three. That's three. three. Yeah. For the record, it's two for hacks and one for slots. This is going to be a sloppy set, my friend. For sure. So this is best of five, right? Yeah. I assume it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is for th top three. Guaranteed. Um, so... Hacks. 
Oh, he's going back, yeah. Definitely. He loves Battlefield. I mean, that's what I would do. This is the New York City stage, honestly. Everyone loves Battlefield here. <laughs> here, back air. Oh, it goes Every for the up tilt, <laughs> okay. I guess that would have covered um, just straight away, but so would back air. Dude, look at the spacing on Hax's Nairs. Like, he has the slightest aerial drift that's like super, super scary. Especially when that moves like hella safe a lot of the time. Aerial drift definitely feels a little more easier to control if I had like an analog thing set up for me. It's just the slightest movement. Like a lot of people yeah. will either like Nair really far at you or in place, but he has like just the lightest touch of it Nair. Is, and it's it, super precise. That's like next, it. it's next level micro spacing. It really is. Oh! Wow. Calls out the double jump and gets a stock off it. Goes to the ledge as usual. Running China neutral. Oh, misses the wave dash out of shield. Back air. Ends up getting punished for it. Back air. Yeah. Nair? Okay. I, I felt that entire up. string before it happened. Catches him. Sick punish from Slogs. He just, like, never gave Hax a second of breathing room there. The beauty of Fox Dittos, man. You can, like, always extend. Yeah. If you believe in yourself hard enough, you can extend. That's true. Fair. Shine. Oh, wow. Good snap to the ledge. Dude, like, maybe, like, a frame earlier you could have had that. Potentially. Right Another nice oh, back air. Can he get there in time? No. That would have been insane. Yeah. This is that's the second time we saw that. This is a much more satisfying game to watch. Definitely. Hax going back to the ledge. Do you see that? Like Hax will he'll just go back to the ledge. He's like, I want invincibility, man. It makes sense. I mean, like it's good. Look, and he got a he got a smash tech out of it. When you're in the corner and like a fox is on the platform, just like a little further over in stage. Look, and he'll go back to the ledge. <laughs> yeah. He's he's baiting him, and he, it's working. Like Slox will go to ledge. Hex gets these free aerials and look, he's look how much oh, he's getting. Solid off of him. down air reset, great DI. Holy crap. Oh, that was a sick recovery. I thought he was gonna bear. Up smash him. Yep. Slox is just falling for the bait. He's like, he's go look, he's going to ledge. But you can't do that because Fox is invincible. You cannot do that. Especially against Hacks, man. It's weird. Well, he was invincible at the time. Like uh, right now, you you have that's just the meta. It's just gonna be you have to respect Fox. Like you have to, you just go to center stage, let him get back on, and then capitalize. But the thing is, though, if Slox starts picking up, that Hax is like getting these perfect wave dashes back on ledge or ledge yeah. dashes. He knows exactly where to punish him, but he's going a little too close that he just is still invincible and it's not gonna work. But if he stays like right on the left of these platforms, he can like get the grabs. And they're both just kind of like weaving around each other, trying to get a hit. Finally, Slox gets some corner pressure going. Loses it right away. Dude, Fox Dittos are so back and forth all the time. Oh, man, that back air. Nice, got there in time. Oh, he Probably jumped from the ledge, ledge a little too you. early, though. He could have definitely covered everything there. Dude loves the ledge. Yeah. Oh, wow. nice! What a counter hit. That was sick. That was crazy. <laughs> Good in shit, Slox. Yeah, two. That was nice. That was really smart. I would have not have thought to do that there at all. Chat's calling for a reverse 3-0. Um, Can it happen? That would be impressive. Oh, that was a really good wait on the get up from Hacks there. Damn. What a fast response to that missed up smash. Oh, sick. Backer. Nice. Grab ledge. Shine. No shine. He's, oh, yeah, okay. He's just misspacing the uppies. Hacks with a little bit of a flub. Doesn't go for the shine. But if he can secure it here. Oh, solid power shield. Oh, nice that was tag. An amazing Clutch tag. tag. And these power shields, man. Slux the power shield master right now. Oh, missed the upside out of shield. Thought he could get it. Cam. Battle of the Ledge. Yeah. 2017. But the thing is, though, like, it's so hard to call out Fox going to Ledge. Because if you call it out and you get it right, cool, you got the stock. But if you don't, then they're invincible. Like, <laughs> it's like an RPS where there's one option that's, like, better than others, you know? <laughs> it's crazy. That's true, yeah. man. Oh, my God. All Who's going to take the first oh, stock? 
<laughs> the Who's shine. gonna he take the first time? Up throw is it here? in there. Back okay. Air. Oh, DI! But he's living though. Goes up. Oh my god, he fastballs through the back air. What a first stock. That should be it. A okay. minute and a half of stock number one. That's crazy. In Fox did it. Holy crap. Oh! Yo, and he calls him out on ledge. Exactly. What's better than Fox? Invincible Fox. <laughs> Nothing's better than Fox. Oh, that was sick little DI there on the down air. That air dodge was actually insane. Nice. Nice. That was filthy. Oh my god. That oh, was such a good my punish. God. That was so Everything good. Everything about that was perfect. Hax oh has been god. like using forward air off the platform so well this set. Single hit fair is like severely underrated. That's like Fox's most underrated tool, honestly. For both for both spaces, really, like coming off of the platform, a lot of times it's, it's a the great only DI thing mix up. Do. It yeah. really is. Especially against characters like Falcon. Who are like, oh, I got to DI this away. Oh, that's four? That's, 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 that's number four. Was that really the fourth one? That was the fourth one. So last game, there wasn't a single misledge dash. I, well, I th that's I the fourth so. one that I counted. I, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these back airs are so perfect. He was back wow. airing just outside of the invincible ledge dash range. Yeah, Slox likes doing that like run in up smash a lot. Trying to call in like a dash grab or it's something. It's so satisfying to get. I can't help but go for him. Nice. Oh, is he going to do another one? Oh, wow. nice smash DI. I'm surprised he got that in the magnifying glass. Yeah, that was really good. Oh, he didn't touch the ground. Nice. Let's go, Hex. Sick back air. Yeah, Slox is just trying to get him off the he's, ledge. He's really trying to call him out, but you know, if Hex is invincible, that's just going to lead to his downfall. Gotta well, he's careful. invincible when he does that. He only does it when he oh, comes yeah, off the yeah, angel yeah. platform. Oh, good DI. So many techs on these platforms. High level play, man. Damn. That was nice. a crit. So this is a uh, winner's stock for hacks. Nice up I was waiting for that was uh, up air. Oh, I thought he was going to go to the ledge. Nice. So many techs. All right, so if Slox can get this punish. And the DI and on that? Like, damn, them. dude. Dude, this nair spacing is out of control. It's next level. Back air? Yeah. Okay. Hex taking game three. Yeah. I think Slox could have, like, dropped down a little bit more before he upbeat, but I think he was just trying to snap to ledge. Yeah. Do we go back to Battlefield? Is this whole set going to be on Battlefield? I hope so, but probably not. Honestly, if I was Slox, though, in this scenario, I would have forgotten that any other stage existed. <laughs> I probably wouldn't take Hex to Yoshi's because, like, Fox invincibility on Yoshi's is super, super broken. Like, more broken than most other stages. And yep. Hex has those mean ledge dashes, so... Okay, going to Dreamland. It's, it's really just preference, you know? Yeah. Yeah, just get him off stage. Go for the edge guard. Ooh, that was actually a really nice bear, um, but he got that really clutch shorten. Yeah. Look at these, like, empty... Slox has, like, these seemingly tomahawks that end up being super late aerials. And that's, that's number five. five. That's five. That's five on the set. All right, so I have seven, you have six, right? This is true. Okay. I don't want to see any SDs, but I want to win this. <laughs> <laughs> Another up smash. Up Fair. air. Fair. Back air. Yep. Oh, he gave him lunch. Yeah, but he's got corner pressure. Yeah, Slox Slox, he's really been very good, good at pressure. keeping hacks in the corner. A lot of like threatening uh, up tilts, back airs. Damn. Okay. I thought it was a good idea to go for the shorten, but he just wasn't kind of like wasn't lined up perfectly. So many techs. Oh, missed the but tech. He didn't get that one. Which crazy? That was a jump call out. As yeah. Well. No, it really was. Yeah. Oh, nice up air. A little neutral call out. I love the little things like that. So many power shields, so many techs. High stakes dueling right here. Seriously, if anyone misses like one instant. Oh, and he calls him out on the mm. shorten. A lot of these shortens don't seem like they're gonna hit ledge though. It seems like they're just a little too short. And yeah. two stocks apiece, even though Slox is just up two stocks, like not even 30 seconds ago. Oh my god. Damn, just the flutter hush. Yeah. 
Th th those oh, are the bears I'm talking about. Yeah, Dude, yeah. those like super far back back airs. It's those like are, a moonwalk. Those are like the main, th that's like the mango back air. Where so you like shield, good. wave dash in, back air. Crazy. Yeah. That Sox was like doing that against me and it was just like surreal. Like it's super scary. So it's like a frame four move and you have all that momentum. Oh, nice. Is back air really frame four? I'm pretty sure. Actually, I, uh, I hate being wrong in frame data, but I <laughs> swear it is. I hate when people call me out on frame data. Chad, let, let, let us know. Yeah, what frame is Fox's back air? It totally could be four, but that seems like really fast. Because his grab and up smash is six. That I do know. Yep, just going to ledge. Both players honestly use the ledge a lot. Because it's so good. Yeah, even ledge is amazing. You become invincible when you grab it. That's it's, broken. It is really, really good. Backer. High angle, but is he going to be close enough? Nice. Wow, he just whiffed that. Max was a little too early, and Sox is able to get back. Ledge. Nice. Okay. Smart. Sox gambles. Hacks. Yeah. Hacks knows he wants guesses. to go to ledge. They I mean, both Hacks know that like they want to go to ledge. Yeah. I and mean, for Hacks, he could actually cover everything there, too. This ditto's so meta. <laughs> oh, sick reaction. This could be it. I nice. Think that's no it. shorten. Oh, wait. wait okay, 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 okay. Slox takes it 3-1. Damn. And Jeremy, for the record, the only reason I would be upset about you going for a double up smash is because I know that you would try and do a third one after, <laughs> and you would miss. All right? Don't wait. think I didn't see that. Hold on.